Right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of YouTube, out there in YouTube land. You're probably sitting there thinking, why? This, hang on, isn't he meant to be taking a break? Well, I did take a break. All oh, for about, for about all of, well, probably less than one day. Mainly because on the Sunday after I put up the apology video, that's what I came down. I had a pep talk from a certain someone. A certain someone shall <laughs> for now right we're no main nameless, who knows who he is. That probably narrows it down a bit, but not too much. And if he wants to say say it with him, fair enough, but I'm not gonna go but go around saying who's giving me a pep talk and why and but yeah I'm back. I have to sleep on my stupidity of kind of well. Sleep, yeah, sleep on my stupidity. I don't mean I literally slept on stupidity. I kind of mean for those and people that don't kind of get British analogies and colloquialisms and like that. It means I kind of slept on what stupid thing I did. Which I, I'm looking back at it is now stupid. And I'm kind of rambling again, but hey, see, that'll sort me out. Right. April's update. You're in April already. Four months into the year almost. Uh, not good. What can I say? The Sea Scout's gone a bit. I have found some models that I forgot I had. I forgot I started building. Which is always good. But I think I shall start off with the Sea Scout because that's the most fast. Because I have an external webcam here. But, ah, give it a try as an extra camera angle for getting close to um, where I put the keel plates on it. Just off to the side, as usual. My eyes are going, oh, yeah, mad. Complete and utterly mad. Excuse me. Pardon me. Right, complete and utterly mad. As I was saying, right, yeah. So, yeah, we'll start off with that first. Because, as I said, well, not kill plates, the kill supports or whatever for when the um, actual actual skin goes on there. Right, I'll show it here at the moment because obviously you put the skin over the sides like this. You can probably sort of see where I've gone, but I'll get a bit of a picture there. But you kind of put the skin over the top here, and that's a kind of help, help shape the skin. So, right, anyway, without further ado, I shall stop recording this little segment. Right, so much for that video, so much for that an camera angle. Didn't work. Didn't want to play ball. So, stick with the old favourite. Because this is H my webcam on here is HD1. I'll see if I can kind of, yeah, there we are. These two here, one here, and one there. The same on the other side. Those as far as I've got since I last showed this. Was, it doesn't look that much, but considering you have to sand a bevel into each one of these, you know, each one, like that, like it is up here and up there, it's a lot of time consuming work that you have to mix up the epoxy, clamp it down, and on one of these, this one, he says, you can probably just see this one. Yeah, this one up here. That one there. You can see where I had to sand down some epoxy because it squirt in, squirted out of the joint. I thought better use, rather to use too much than too little. Which catch twenty two. You use too much, you end up making a mess. You use too little, it ends up falling off. But I suppose it's. It's easier to take away than it is. No, well, yeah. Well, it depends. After it's dried, it's easy. After it's dried, it's easier to take away than it is to put on. Excuse me. Well, either way, <laughs> either way is applicable. But I'm now confusing myself and probably half the people watching this. But anyway, this is one of the kits I forgot I had that I was building. The. 1 1 44th scale Revel Micro Wings Hawk Tempest. Bought it for one of my little brothers, thinking, ah, perfect size. No. Not my smartest idea. 
I don't know what to expect for someone who's as off, pretty much as off the wall as me. The drive me it's driven me up round the bend. But anyway, it's kept in this nice little box that I've written on it. Tempest Mark, Mark 5. Yes, and I know my handwriting is atrocious. I couldn't give a monkey's. But there is. Probably won't pick it up, but there's little raised panel lines on it. It's so. Well, you can barely pick up. It's so fine on there, you barely pick up the. Um, Exhaust on it. And there's very little detail on you might be able to pick the detail up on the wings he says trying to uh, no because it's so fine on this right on the top wing one of the wing tops you can kind of barely he says Barely pick up the additions and the rudder and the ailerons and the no the elevators and the ailerons. I mean, that's the tempest. Fortunately, the box doesn't fit this. This box doesn't fit in there. But we'll start doing them. Get back into sweat now. <laughs> so I've got something to do when I'm not dealing with this gargantuan beast. Because she is a Peter. Well, that's one of them. The other one, same sort of same kit, same oh, not same kit, same brand, same brand, but it's obviously a Hawk, Hawk Hurricane Mark one. Same box with a with a sticker on it. This has actually got a bit done to it, and it says. Oh yeah, cause it, there's a little hole there that I filled in was for a stand, but uh, I don't want them stands. I want them to kind of put in a little wooden base. We've got some MDF hidden somewhere in small bits. But you can actually see if you kind of concentrate on what you're doing. Once there, you can sort of see the material. Like what it's meant to represent the material in there. This is oh. yeah, but it's not instead of actually being like it is on one seventy two, which I know is difficult. It's more like divots <laughs> and raised well, it's dips and raised panel lines. But actually, I think they're probably they are. They look to um. Too thick, too deep, rather for one one forty four. That's this one's a bit further on than well. Excuse me, in the um tempest, in the grand scheme of things, obviously it's got wings put together. That's oh that one, but yeah, finish them off. Let my little brothers paint them. I enjoy. Well then, they only want to paint the light a bit, and then have me paint the camera. Oh, deep joy! Expensive, isn't it? No one really wanted me to put this question. Oh, well, he says, stop muttering, concentrate on what's going on. What, what else? What else? Hmm. That was it. A couple of weeks ago. End of. It was end of last week or. No, penultimate week of March. Went, had to go um, to one of the t nearby towns for something to do. Well, I had to go there. Not going to go into why, but I just had to go. Well, that not too much of a personal life. And um, I haven't got them. Ah, excuse me. I have, I'll go get them. 
in a second. So I've got three magazines for £2.50. Which they were selling them. They're out of date magazines, but they're not out of date, but they're last year's magazines. Well, you could say they're out of date, but modern magazines, in my opinion, don't tend to go out of date. But I'm rambling. And £2.54. Three, or £1.50. One pound, one pound fifty, one pound for one. So I'm just going to pause, the, stop this, stop recording now. Go and get them. Picking up from where I left off with that waffle that was recorded yesterday. Oh yeah, the um, magazine is two, three pounds, three pounds, two pound fifty rather. Yeah, yeah, I got the October two thousand thirteen. International Aer Model Aeroplane International. I thought, can't argue with that. And the November and August issue from last year of Timia Model Magazine International. Pardon me. Uh, as you put there, because I recorded this on the 5th. Now, last night's on the 5th. And this is on the sixth. And yeah, I did a bit of work on those one foot one forty four things, and they are a pain in the bum. They don't fit well together, and I have to be honest with you, I've now discovered after I've done this one one forty four, not my um, not my will not be my um. Go to scale, of course, but then again, scale being relative, there are some things that are probably a lot easier in things that are better in 1140 or more manageable in 1144. But I digress. Ah, just before one more thing before I go, which is the Ferrari, I am thinking of scratch building a tub, just a just a what you call it, just a um. Just a basic one, and probably having making some sort of having a, one, a seat in the centre and the console right in the dead centre of the car. Probably making some sort of mad or mad max or futuristic type thing. I know some probably Ferrari purists are going, "What on earth is he thinking?" And I thought that for a while, but I thought, "Hmm, give it a go." But that won't be until I'm more confident with it. Anyway, this is enough waffling and that for the eight block deck. Bye.